Hello everyone. This is the second part of my tutorial series for uh, Space Engineers. I've played a lot of Space Engineers and I stream Space Engineers uh, under Dr. Mark on Twitch. I am doing a tutorial today on decoys. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me how they work. You know, I'm a very effective fighter in survival mode. And the reason that is is because of decoys. If you don't have a decoy, turrets from ships, automated turrets, will target your guns and your cockpit, and you'll die. With a decoy, you can force them to target a different area of your ship. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a heavily armored box. I know it's not pretty, but it's just for display purposes. I'm going to take a heavily armored box, and I'm going to place a decoy inside of this. There we go. And then cover it <coughs> with heavy armor. Now as long as that decoy is still intact, and decoys do not have a lot of health, as long as they're still intact, the turrets will target that over anything else. So you can use it as a tank and a gun runner. And I'll show you a ship I use in survival mode that I named the Leviathan that we use as an actual tank. Um, Alright, let's get this ship away. Oopsie daisy. Adds quite a bit of mass to have that thing on there. Oop, I don't want Blue 2 shooting it. See, Blue 2 is already targeting it. Alright, let's go over here and let's turn this turret on a hostile. <clears throat> so I'll turn this turret on too hostile, the one on the station. So say we're coming up against a mining carriage, which is the bread and butter of... Track moving objects? It's going to shoot me as I fly away. Ah, not my butt. Okay. <clears throat> is it still targeting me? Put her a little too close. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're going to move in. See, it's locked under the decoy. And I'm just going to fly over it. And this allows for precision gun runs. And usually when you're running a decoy, you do want to move a little bit. You don't want them allowing them to shoot in one spot. And now, see, it's shooting at the decoy. I can come back around and make a precision strike at this turret and take it out. Let's see if we can get slowed down here. There we go. <clears throat> no more turret. And as you can see, it takes quite a bit of damage. Um, you know, a missile turret Honestly, on a small ship, you're going to get wiped out. So if you're going against missile turrets, just make something fast and maneuverable so you can try to keep around from it. But on large ships, it will actually take missiles. And I'm going to show you my ship that I use for a uh, tank. So let's bring up my survival mode game. And take a look at the one I've made. <clears throat> and this will make a lot more sense to you when you see it on an actual warship instead of having it as a little side thing. Okay, where is the Leviathan? There it is. Leviathan is my warship I made after a lot of practice in creative mode. And I'll always suggest, always, always, always do everything in creative mode first if it's a major change. You know, it'll, it's worth the time to mock something up in creative mode than to spend hours making something in survival to have to break it all down again, especially with heavy armor plate. So on here, I have a decoy inside, right there. And I have, ooh, let me come down, layers upon layers of heavy armor plate right on the front. So I've got one, two, three, four, five layers of heavy armor plate, and then 
one, two more layers to protect myself on the inside. It takes a long time to make that much heavy armor plate, but it's worth it. So I'll approach from the front, and they'll lock onto the decoy instead of my Gatlings and instead of my missiles, and shoot straight into the front, and it's very rare that I lose a decoy, but still, you should have some way to see the decoy on the inside. You know, whether it be just a block you place down, you know, you could place a colored block. That's what I used to do before I started doing the panel. You can put a colored block down so you can see where... Oops, that's not a block. You can put a colored block down like that so that you can see where it is and then grind out the block to see if it's still in there. Because you, you don't have a good way to tell if the decoy is still in there because the decoy doesn't actually show up on your ship list. I'll show you here. There's no decoy on here, so you don't know if it's actually destroyed or not. You'll know in battle, though, because they'll start targeting your systems. And that is how to use decoys. If you guys have any questions or suggestions on tutorials that you'd like to see, uh, let me know. Have a good night.